Hi, Dean Rinker, Keller Williams Realty here. In today's video, we're going to talk about two concepts or two terms that uh, we use in real estate regularly. Uh, but it's also important for buyers and sellers to understand these terms and the concepts. And what we're going to talk about is basically how long do existing listings take to sell, the number of homes for sale in a market. Um, and we, we're going to look at two terms. One is months of inventory, and the second is the absorption rate. Both of those terms explain how quickly a market is moving, how, how quickly listings and selling are selling and sort of the health of the real estate market in a given area. And the best way to, to, to understand these numbers, because they are numbers, uh, we need to do a calculation. So that's sort of the best way to do this, uh, set an example. So if I look at the tri-county area, Sacramento, Placer, and El Dorado counties, in April, if we're looking at single family homes only, 1,457 homes sold. So in the month of April, Tri-County area, 1,457. So that's, a, that's a, a stat we need first to calculate both uh, numbers, months of inventory and absorption rate. So 1,457 homes sold. Then we've got to look at what are the number of listings today on the market for sale? How many homes are for sale as of today? And when I looked and checked that out, there's 3,040 single family homes for sale in the Tri-County area. So we want to calculate first of months of inventory. So we're gonna look at taking the 1,457 and we're gonna divide that into 3,040. In other words, 3,040 divided by 1,457 and that gives us our months of inventory. So in this case, that calculation comes out to 2.08 or let's say 2.1 and or even two. So what that tells us is based on the number of sales in April, if we continue at that pace, we're gonna, we have 2.1 months of inventory and all that says is, if we, if we didn't have any more homes coming on the market, in other words, we stuck with that 3,040 and we had 1,457 sell in April, it would take about two months to sell that 3,040 listings. Now understand, there's always gonna be new listings coming on the market and markets change and each month there's a different number of sales, but this is a good snapshot to say how much inventory is on the market. And maybe you've got to calculate too as a seller how you're going to price. And of course you want to discuss that with your realtor and make sure you get someone, you work with somebody who understands months of inventory and absorption rate because th those two numbers play a key role in helping price your home to sell. So months of inventory is number of listings sold, or excuse me, number of listings on the market today divided by the number of listings that sold that last month. And that comes up to 2.1 months of inventory. Now let's talk about the absorption rate. In other words, how fast are homes selling? And in the case of absorption rate, all we do is we flip the calculation. So instead of 3,040 divided by 1,457, which calculates months of inventory, we're gonna take the number of solds, 1,457, and we're gonna divide that by 3,040. And that gives us 47.9, or let's round that to 48%. That number tells us that each month, 48% of the homes on the market are going to sell. Think about that. 3,040, let's round it. Say uh, 3,000. Let's take the number of solds last month, instead of 1,457, let's round that to 1,500. It just happens this calculation works out real well. So if you have 3,000 listings on the market, and on average, 1,500 are selling per month, or last month, 15 into 3,000 is two, you have two months of inventory. And each month, half of that 3,040 would sell, so that gives us about 48% as an absorption rate. So hope that was uh, uh, helpful, hope that made sense. Of course, you can watch the video again, uh, run those calculations, and when you hire a realtor, make sure you understand, you get somebody that understands that, that's critical. Any questions, give me a call, email, text, reach out, I'm happy to help. Thank you.